Hey everybody and welcome to How To Videos with Dr. Amy Gates. This video is going to focus on how to create and analyze contingency tables and probability using StatCrunch. So we have two questions that we're going to answer and we're going to use StatCrunch to build the contingency table and then we're going to look at the answers to the questions. So the first question is, what is the probability of randomly selecting a student, and I have a data set of students with lots of different information about those students. So what is the probability of randomly selecting a student who is blonde and then selecting from that group a student who is female? So that's our first question. Our second question is what is the probability of randomly selecting a brunette or a male? All right, so in order to answer these probability questions, the first thing we want to do is go into StatCrunch and create the appropriate contingency table for the types of questions being asked. Notice we're being asked about probabilities with respect to hair color, in this case, blonde or brunette, and also with respect to gender, like female or male. So you can see the results, and I'm going to show you how I got this, of the contingency table. I've got all the different hair colors possible across the top, and I've got the different genders across the side, and then all the values in between, which we'll talk about. So first, how do we make a contingency table? Let's find out. So going to StatCrunch, to make a contingency table, we click on Stat, Tables, Contingency, and then we want to use the data that we have here in our data set. So we'll click With Data. Now, in this case, we want to know which data do we want across the rows. I'm going to go ahead and put my gender across the rows. And which data do we want down the columns? And I'm going to go ahead and let my columns be the color of the hair. And that's pretty much all I need to tell StatCrunch. I'm going to click Calculate. And this creates that contingency table that we just saw. It shows all the hair colors across the top, the gender across the side, and then it fills in the numbers based on our entire data set. So you can see we have 158 people here total. 134 of them are female, 24 of them are male, and so on. Now I've got a bigger version of this table, so I'm going to switch over back to my other slide. This same exact table is what we see right here. And as you can see, StatCrunch fills out all the values from our data set into the table. All right, now this particular question wants to know, suppose the person is blonde. That's the first assumption we make here. All right, well, I've blued out everybody who's blonde. We've got 25 female blondes and three male blondes for a total of 28 blonde people in this entire set. So these are the people who are blonde. And then it says, after you find out who's blonde and then select from that group a student who is female, what's the probability? All right, well, the females from this group who are blonde are 25 of them. And that's in green. It's kind of the intersection of blondes and females. So 25 out of 28 of my blondes are female. And so that is my probability of selecting a student who is blonde and then from that group selecting a student who is female. So 25 out of 28 or 0.893. Now using the same table, same concept, what is the probability of randomly selecting a brunette person or a male person from all of this data? All right, well to select a brunette person, that's all of these people. We've got 51 female brunettes, 10 male brunettes for a total of 61 brunettes. All right, what about male people? Well, we've got a lot of different male hair colors and we've got 24 male people total in this group. So what's the probability of picking a brunette or a male? Well, the probability of grabbing a brunette person is 61 out of 158. So 61 out of 158. That's the chance of getting a brunette person. We have 61 people who have brunette hair, and we have 158 people total. All right, the probability of getting a person that's male is 24 out of 158. So we'll add that probability on because this is an or. We want a brunette person or a male person. 
So again, we've got 61 out of 158 to get a brunette person. We've got another 24 out of 158 to get a male person. But, and here's the key, we have an overlap. Some of our males have brunette hair. We've already counted all the brunette people. We don't want to count anyone twice. So we subtract away the males with brunette hair because we've already counted them. That's why we subtract here. So the total number of brunettes or males is 61 out of 158 plus 24 out of 158 minus 10 out of 158. And that gives us about 0.475. So that's how you use StatCrunch to build a contingency table. And that's how you can analyze a contingency table to do different probability type questions. Thanks for joining me.